Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what's behind door number two. This is the plantation. Listen to the music. It's the title screen music and this enemy right here is an orange bell. Yeah, it doesn't look orange in the least. It actually looks pretty black there. It's like the king of all bats and it's pretty dang weak I have to say. <laughs> it only does 2 HP damage when it touches you so that's incredibly poor, it's especially this late in the game. Anyway, what you want to do is keep going along this path. If you want, you can kill this guy or just avoid him altogether. He doesn't attack you until you attack him. See that? Whoa! You get the idea. And that was a dr droll, not a troll, a droll. This is a Midoran. They're like little pea-sized or pea-shaped enemies. They're quite cute, but they're very hyper. And holy cow, my spur does a crap load of damage. <laughs> anyway, let's just go up here. I want to get myself a health upgrade before I uh, drop my booster 2.0 off. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. Uh, up here. Go oh boy, these are stumpy enemies. I forgot about these. And they only have four HP, but they're in quite large swarms, so you gotta oh look out for them, and I'm gonna fall all, all the way down unless I do something. <laughs> Come on. Wait, what? This is why I don't like the booster 2.0. I always end up go going in different directions I don't want to go in. I just wanna go straight up. Thank you! Life capsule! Yeah! <laughs> Um, you'll notice that there is a bunch of Mimigas along the way here. Well, what, where'd you come from? I didn't see you, uh, see you before. Well, whatever. Um, oh, I'm on the second level, that's why. Drop down here. Like, try and talk to the Mimigas. They're like, no, no eye contact, no! Yeah, they don't want to talk to you for whatever reason, so don't even bother. Um, I'll show you what that door is a little bit later, because I will be later. I just thought I would show that off, because I don't believe I mentioned that earlier. But what you want to do is go up to this place here. Wait, 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 wait. I'm too far up, aren't I? Yeah, I'm way too far up. Let's go back. I don't know the plantation very well. I'll admit that right now, but I know the general areas of where I want to go. So let's just say that. So this part might be longer than uh, expected because of it. And what does the sign say? Wait, watch out for gunfish. Oh no, not the gunfish. Anything but the gunfish. And the gun, so there's a stumpy down here. Not, not many stumpies down here. Oh yeah, these are gunfish. As you can see, they shoot bu bubbles of water at you. I also think they hurt. They hurt you when you touch them, or maybe not. So wait, hold on. Oh, there's the bubble. That hurts. Oh, they don't they don't hurt you when you touch them? Huh, I thought they did. Well, whatever. <laughs> so I was just curious about that. I'll be able to recover my HP later. Don't worry about that. And uh, I'm missing somebody here. Somebody's supposed to be over there. Hold on a second here. See, this is what I mean. I don't know the plantation very well. Maybe I was, maybe I was supposed to go to that spot that was in the ground first. Let me climb back up here because that's like my only choice and my only lead right now. Okay, secret passageway here. Ooh, ooh, secretive and oh yeah, yeah, that that's not gonna work. Um, who am I supposed to talk to around here to activate this event? I know it's not those. Uh, not you, definitely. Let's just go in here. And what do you have to say about the situation? Oh, hey, yeah, we have met before. Yep. And yeah, that's the fi little fisher girl we met way at the beginning of the game at the uh, reservoir. Ah, okay, you have to talk to her here first. I do you can you talk to these guys? Oh, okay, yeah, she was the only one you could talk to. Now we go back to that spot near the water there where the gunfish were. Okay, we are getting back on track now. <laughs> so we, what we need to do is get the teleporter room key. It's not very far from here, so don't worry about it. Not really all that much wasted time considering I was showing you around the area anyway while I was fumbling around aimlessly. Oh boy. So now she's over here fishing and she's gonna be like, oh hey, it's you. I just seen you five minutes ago, but I don't really, oh never mind. <laughs> Actually it was less than five minutes and she just caught something now, it was weird. So let's check in the bucket. And the teleporter room key. And now what you wanna do is go across here and into this room. Uh, the key to the room is just right there. Hello there, how's it going? Oh, 
strong silent type I'd see. Chaco would probably like you. Anyway, let's just, uh, yeah, sure, I'll go to Arthur's house. Kill a robot! Ah! Ambushed! That is not good. Hey, come on. You're not dead, are you? Uh. Yay! Oh, no, I'm in jail. Dang it! And, uh, hey, here's the uh, hungry Mimiga from... Or, excuse me, Mimiga from Mimiga Village. And, uh... Yeah, looks like it was out for a little while, but... Wait, Sue is here. She was here, too? Huh. Yeah, I am a friend of Sue's. Oh, man, she was? Oh, that's so sweet of her. For paying me for what I did for her. So... Wait, you have, what else do you have to say about this? She's something else in my pocket. Anyway, let's save our game first before we check that out. Just go to your inventory screen. Hello, Sue's letter. Yes, I will read it. This is Sue. I don't believe... This is a key plot point in the game, by the way, so pay attention. I don't believe I ever told you much about all of us. We came to this island from the surface on a research trip. They're talking the surface like Earth. Professor Booster was on her helicopter, and so was my mother, my brother, various assistants, the doctor as well. He was there to serve our medical needs, and did so. At least, until he found the demon crown. That crown, once the property of the master of this island, grants monstrous magical powers upon its wearer. The doctor knew this even before coming to the island, which is why he wormed his way into our group in the first place. Once he had the crown in his possession, no one could stand up to him. So basically he came to this island to get the demon crown for... power. We had no choice except to continue our research to the island under his orders. The doctor seeks to rule the Earth's surface using the island as a base. That's why he wants to keep this island around. I think he plans for, to first attack the surface using the Minimikas as weapons. Anyway, I was able to get away somehow, but I fear the other researchers are, are already... Now he's using the unsuspecting Mimigas to cultivate more and more red flowers. Once he is ready to attack, he will drive the Mimigas into a murderous frenzy using the flowers. Using his terrible powers, he will be able to control the raging Mimigas to do his bidding. And th that means I, too, will... If you can escape from this prison cell, look for the hideout hidden in the plantation. If my mother is yet safe, she'll be there, coming up with a counter plan. Please help my mother. The password is the Tagano Moscow. And that's it. And after you do that, this block will open up for whatever reason. Yeah, this uh, jail cell isn't very secure for whatever reason. Anyway, that's uh, a bit more into this game's backstory and plot, and now we've got ourselves an escape route. He could also escape with us, obviously. This is not a very hard route to get through. And we're, we have escaped! We have made it! We're free! And I didn't mean to plop down here. Wait, actually, this works. I have to go down here. <laughs> I forgot. So let's go down here. As I said, yeah, I don't know this place very well. So this is the hideout, and this is Sue's mother. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mamoru and Sakamoto. So, so yeah, she was working with the doctor at one time, and he pretty much dumped her once he didn't need her anymore, and that's pretty sad. But you could tell from the very beginning that he had no intent of keeping anyone as his friends. He just wants to rule the earth. But hey, that's what all evil people do in video games. <laughs> so yeah, she needs the booster to finish this rocket. So we, we have to say no to this because we have to help her out. Otherwise, we aren't getting anywhere. And now she's going to give us the Mimiga mask, of which will allow us to talk to other Mimigas. This will definitely come in handy. So, yeah. And they said, I'm not a human, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, we can also go down to the bottom there to save our game as well as recover our health. And she also wants us to bring her back, <clears throat> bring back a sprinkler, but I don't think I need to save. This place is pretty easy to get through without uh, any worries. So, let's just go through here and just jump right over the drolls. As I said, they don't do anything. They just kind of sit there unless you shoot at them first. So... It's better to just avoid them altogether. Now what you want to do is... Well, if you want to, you can actually talk to some of these mini guys. But I wasted a lot of time in this part already. Get to work! That's kind of rude of you, Miss uh, Mister there or whatever. I don't know if you're a girl or a boy. Don't take offense by that. 
and so we need to get ourselves a sprinkler. This looks like a sprinkler over here, just like the one that was at, uh, um, what was that, the flower place, the uh, Yamashita Farm, I think the name was, and I believe this person is going to say to take the busted sprinkler. Well, we aren't going to be able to do anything with that sprinkler. We need to exchange it for a good one. So, yeah, and when we exchange it for a good one, we'll be able to actually give her a good sprinkler, and she needs the parts for the rocket. Yeah, evidently rockets are uh, built of sprinklers or something like that, so now you want to go over to here and talk to this guy. Another one? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I will. Nothing's going to happen to the sprinkler. No one's going to dismantle it and turn it into a rocket or anything like that. So... It looks like they're almost done growing the last seed. That is not good whatsoever. And, oh, so exhausted. I feel so sorry for these poor Mimikas. Oh, they're being forced into horrendous slave labor. But some of them do seem kind of naive to the plan that the doctor has. If you talk to some of them, uh, maybe I'll talk to some of them on, oh, on the way back. Oh, you can also jump on these uh, Midoran heads just by like that and you <laughs> you could ride them if you want to but that was a horrendous way to demonstrate that because I just, just went right into the droll thanks to that critter anyway let's go down here we still don't have our booster which is okay we're gonna be getting it back very shortly yeah da 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 and drop off the sprinkler thank you very much and now she wants something from someone else he, she needs someone named Ito, and if you recall, there's a, I mean, a timid man named Ito, and if you recall, there's a very scary cat man uh, way on the outer wall, if you recall when we met him uh, way in the last part, and actually we've seen him at the beginning of this part, so let's just uh, take a quick trot over there and meet up with him. He's going to give us an item called the controller. This guy right here. Yep, that's him. <laughs> It's almost as if I've played this game before, even though I still kind of got lost there at the beginning. But yay, I got the controller. Happy days. Awesome sauce. And I will give her your regards. I wonder if I should save my game soon, honestly, but I'm doing pretty well here, and I don't think anything badly is going to happen. Holy cow, those bats are die bombing me all over the place. And now what you want to do is go up to here, and, well, go back into here and drop off the controller. Thank you! Yes, I did find them in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Definitely helps to know where you're going in this game, otherwise you'd be searching around this place if you didn't know that Ito was his name. So yeah, I'll go rest over on that bed while you finish the rocket. And yay! Yes, I will! Oh, okay, I'm awake. Oh, all right, that was a great sleep. I am feeling rested. I am feeling great as if I had six Mountain Dews and 12 cups of coffee. So let's go up to here and they're gonna say that the rocket is finished and Ito is here as well. Yay! Yeah, that is true. You're not gonna get anything done hiding, especially if you wanna save the rest of the Mimigas. So, I hope you will become a human again, that's for sure. And that also gives you a hint at uh, Sue's predicament. Sue, as well as uh, Ito there, was transformed into a Mimiga. By uh, Misery, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, I will take my booster back. And I will climb up to the heavens using that rocket there. So, yeah, they take away my mask. I mean, she takes away my mask as well, but we don't need to talk to them anymore. Okay, and what I'm going to do is ride up this rocket up to the upper area. But first, I'm going to equip the booster once again. For some reason, you have to equip it all over again. So, there we go. And I will flip the switch. Thank you. I just pressed the jump button for whatever reason. Now, get ready to jump off to your left, where you see the puppy, like this. Hello. Long time, no arf. <laughs> And I get a life capsule from the puppy. Yay! Also, if you used your life pot that you got from Jenka, you'll get another life pot from this puppy. And... Wait, did you say tell Curly to say hi? Yeah, there's actually more to this area that I have yet to show you, which I'll be doing in the next parts. Uh, I'm going to be doing a load of side quests in the next part, so I'm just going to save my game. 
and I'll see you guys in the next parts. I hope you enjoyed. This game's coming to an end, by the way, very shortly.